the number of convictions in such cases has really increased dramatically over the years which just shows that this law works but we don't have a, a similar law when it comes to dealing with minorities which is what leads to ghettoization among the minority communities and and is that lacuna because of the leadership you know you were saying that the muslim leadership you were telling me earlier is 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 has not perhaps uh, looked after its community as well as it has it's up to the muslim leadership after all to agitate for a law to agitate against discrimination to take up these cases of housing that we are highlighting in the media and say this is what is happening we need a law yeah, i think i think that's part of the answer i wouldn't say that's that's the entire answer that i think that the muslim middle class such as it is and the muslim elites historically perhaps have not been as Uh, politically astute and active as it as it should have been but you know i think the other significant thing is also that certain developments have happened in our time for example the rise of gated communities um has meant that in fact you have extraordinarily homogeneous communities across being built across uh, many cities in india whereby in most gated communities you don't actually have a diversity of of, um, of the population that's there in the wider indian community and in most gated communities what you have an intense exhibition you, of you may have regional diversity though you have regional diversity you may have caste diversity regional hindu diversity even caste diversity is somewhat limited regional hindu diversity regional hindu is diversity is there. is there and part of it is also has to do with you know the, the developments that are happening the rise of particular kind of consumerism for example the also i think the withdrawal of the state because many such gated communities the rwa for example has mm -hmm. rights to uh, to determine who is going to come in right. and in many other contexts in our uh, in our certainly in the urban context right mm -hmm. now the state has increasingly giving uh, is increasingly giving more and more powers of different kinds to resident welfare associations for example right, right. or under for example the guise of what are known as a public partner public private partnerships whereby uh, in all instances we know that the state does not always do well but in this particular instance it is important for the state to take a significant role not to withdraw from it as is happening in our residential certainly in our, what's happening in our cities right. um, in the new residential patterns that are that are that have that now developed across say 250 cities in you know, where the gated communities are being built mm -hmm. which is really important so uh, you're saying underlying these gated communities mm -hmm. is a certain cultural exclus exclusiveness it's uh, it's it's of course on the on one level it is economic exclusiveness or on the, on, the, on the other very strong level it is also cultural exclusiveness i mean you see the intensity with which for example i i think the pankaj right there's nothing wrong with having a religious identity right but the intensity with which other kinds of religious identity is excluded even right. children children are not introduced to the fact that there was eid very not too long ago mm -hmm. and that that is also an indian festival um christmas we celebrate with a great mm -hmm. deal of vigor mm -hmm. because it's a great uh, great um, commercial festival mm -hmm. we don't introduce our children to the diversity of life uh, of, of beliefs and uh, and identities uh, that's that's a, that's 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 important and that diversity has changed has it changed dipankar gupta because of a, a kind of political mobilization that has come in with the rise of uh, of the bjp the a politician was alluding to this earlier and she was castigated for being too political but has it occurred because of a kind of political mobilization which has happened in a way that you know uh, the, the 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 festivals are seen as uh, you know uh, uh, christmas for example has been hinduized it's seen as a foreign festival uh, muslims are perceived in a certain way and secularism has been called pseudo secularism rights to uh, minorities have been called muslim appeasement so uh, it's become fashionable in a way to bash the old shibboleths of the nehruvian secularism and that is perhaps to, to do with the rise of the bjp and a certain kind of political mobilization